Hey, I'm Rachel J, and this is Cultivator Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to teach you a quick and easy way to preserve your hot peppers for winter using the freezer. All right, let's go. Here are all of the peppers that I just picked and quite a few are still green so I'm going to leave them. I have some jalapenos as well as serranos and actually these two are shishito peppers which are sweet so I'm not going to include these. I will eat these fresh probably tonight with a stir fry. The other thing to know is that peppers are not actually ripe until they've changed into a color so you can eat the green ones but they are technically unripe so if I'm eating it for my garden I like to wait till peak ripeness before I harvest or use them unless it's the very end of the season and I'm expecting snow to come then I'll just pick whatever's left. So to start I am just going to pull off the stem so that these are all removed which is nice and quick I just do it with my hands. And then I'll compost all of these and chop these up. If your skin is very sensitive, you may want to wear gloves while you're handling these and make sure that you're cleaning your cutting board afterwards because your cutting board is going to be a little spicy. Now this next step is optional, but it's going to make a huge difference, especially if you're hoping to keep these from sticking together. So I'm going to spread out all of these peppers uh, so they're not touching on this Silpat mat. You can use any kind of baking sheet you've got. This is just what I have. It's a really old one, as you can tell. <laughs> and I'm just going to spread these out and then put them in the freezer to freeze without touching so that when I put them in a jar, they're not going to stick and clump together. So this will be really easy to keep their shape and use them for cooking all throughout the winter. And there we go. These are all laid out. I'm going to put this in my freezer. You can put it in for one to two hours or just leave it overnight. Put this in the top of my freezer between some veggies and bulk spices and other good stuff we have in here. So I'm going to let these freeze in a single layer, leave these for a few hours, and then we'll come back. Another great thing you can do with hot peppers to preserve them is make my fermented salsa. It's super, super hot. It lasts in the fridge for months. So I'll link to that recipe up above and in the description below. But of course that limits you to what kind of dishes you wanna put it on. So with this, I can throw these in the base of a pasta dish or a lentil dish or a stir fry and make a lot of different things with it. And our peppers are all frozen and ready to be put in a jar. So we're gonna put these in a mason jar. I'm using just a reusable funnel, which makes this process a lot easier. And if you have a sill path that you've used, you could just bend this and get them all in there that way. It makes it much easier. If you have a regular pan, you could just use a spoon or a spatula. And since they're all frozen, they're actually gonna be very easy to get in there. just like that we have frozen peppers i'm just going to put a lid on and put these right back in the freezer and when it's all full then i'll start a new jar and these will be good to sprinkle out into a hot pan for the base of any dish that you want and will last in the freezer until next season i hope you found this helpful and that you get to preserve more of the foods that you grow and enjoy them during the winter if there's any other types of veggies or fruits that you'd like tips on, leave a comment below. See you next time.